The idea of fully autonomous self-driving cars hasn't quite materialized for Elon Musk supporters. They must admit, in any case, Tesla's vibrant CEO has repeatedly claimed that we'd be there by now. And Frank, we aren't. But the so-called autopilot feature is available in all modern Teslas. What enables it to detect potential hazards ahead? How does it then make sense of that data? Is it better than humans at driving? Join us today as we go over these specifics. To begin with, what do we know about the high-tech sensors in Tesla cars? The car's onboard computer can identify and track other vehicles on the road in real time by combining input from an array of intelligent sensory devices. Furthermore, it can distinguish between a wide range of other potential hazards, including everything from lane lines and painted arrows to crossings. In addition, it can sense the stop signs, trash cans, the incline of the road ahead, and even random puddles, all noted and addressed at least as quickly as a human can. So how does it do it at the most fundamental level? Tesla's eight onboard cameras provide visual feedback to the system, three of which are mounted on the wide screen, each slightly different from the other and suitable for very different ranges. The primary front-facing camera on the car is calibrated for visual recognition up to 150 meters away. There's also a wide-angle camera that can see up to 60 meters away and a narrow field camera that can peer into the distance up to 250 meters away. There are also four more standard cameras mounted on each side of the vehicle to a sledge rear wood and another tour angled forward for merging and maneuvering into tight spots. Finally, a rear camera with a range of up to 50 meters can be used as a standard parking camera and another data source feeding critical situations situational data back to the central computer. Moving on, more specifics on the smart cameras. The cameras also have overlapping viewing zones, providing the essential redundancy, which is a key component of Tesla's safe design. A crucial component of the sensory array is a front-facing radar that detects objects up to 160 meters away by bouncing radio waves off of them. According to rumors, Tesla plans to incorporate a radar with twice the range into its newest models with faster processing capability due to a cutting-edge radar developed by Israeli tech startup Arba Robotics. Tesla's penchant with radar is a continuous issue in the budding autonomous vehicle business. Most other companies working on similar vehicles believe Ford, GM, or Waymo prefer so-called LiDAR, which, like radar, bounces light off of objects to detect their distance and form. Tesla's Autonomy Day. Last year, Elon Musk offered this scathing indictment of LiDAR technology. A horde of people was told that LiDAR is a waste of time. Anyone who relies on LiDAR is doomed. They are expensive sensors that become obsolete as the race advances. It's like having a plethora of unnecessary appendages. For example, one appendix is undesirable. You now have an abundance of them. It's ridiculous. You'll see. Although the prohibitively high cost of LiDAR was one of the reasons Tesla preferred radar early on, Musk doubled down on his dislike for the median in October, even as the price of LiDAR began to fall. Even if LiDAR was free... We wouldn't put it only funded, Musk said. Not least because LiDAR is notoriously unreliable in rainy or dusty conditions. Following that, how do Tesla's vehicles use sensory data? In addition, each Tesla contains 12 micro dots carefully placed across the vehicle's body. Each provides critical short-range sensory information up to about 8 meters in range using ultrasonic power. This medium creates a protective cocoon around the car, allowing it to detect when something like the crash barrier or a body is getting too close. The innovative combination combination of classic cameras, sophisticated radar, and 360-degree ultrasound allow Tesla vehicles to maintain a heightened awareness of their surroundings. While in motion, the car also has world-class mapping technology and ultra-precise GPS tracking capabilities. You also have a vehicle far smarter than most humans when determining where it is and what's going on out on the streets. When it comes to ensuring that motoring is done safely, sensory input is only part of the story. So how does all of that lovely data get processed and organized? And now, what do we know about Tesla's sensor chip? Elon Musk, famed for his modest understatement, has labeled the new processor the world's best chip at the heart of his iconic car. Tesla's so-called entire self-driving processor, which is integrated into all new models, is a 260 square millimeter block of quality Samsung silicon with no less than 6 billion transistors. There are two aboard. The ability to do roughly 26 trillion operations per second is essential, so be sure to plan accordingly. This suggests it can respond instantly to any of the many dangers detected 
by the sophisticated sensory array we detailed before. While Tesla's driving algorithm is pre-programmed to account for speed limits and stop signs, the car's silicon brain can also learn and does so in every single Tesla on the road. And the company manufactured half a million of them in 2020 alone. The brain collects detailed information on its environment. It feeds it back to HQ for other motorists to subconsciously use, both from its native experience provided by those sensors and from data harvested across the entire global fleet of Teslas and their sensory race. Moving on, Tesla's beef due to the shadow mode that brings about the autopilot feature. Despite its genius, this technology has allegedly disturbed those skeptical about Tesla's so-called shadow mode. Their issue is that their pricing new model, while in shadow mode, basically pretends to be an autonomous vehicle, as it makes but never executes a driving plan based on its available data. In addition, it reports back to HQ anytime its plan deviates from the actual flesh and blood driver. Of course, this aims to refine and perfect the algorithm and realize Elon Musk's ambition of deploying autonomy at scale, but it still annoys people from a privacy standpoint. So how autonomous are the newest Teslas? They have all of the hardware Elon Musk believes is required for achieving the self-driving dream. But for now, the closest these cars get is Tesla's so-called autopilot mode. It's the newest enhanced bells and whistles autopilot mode, which Tesla drivers can order over the air for a princely $8,000 as an optional extra offer. Dynamic traffic aware cruise control. Customers can also get automatic lane changing for their spending, which can respond to either sat nav route plan. Owners of the smart summon additionally enjoy the entertaining ultimate bragging rights function of an impetuous manual flick of the turn signal. Following that, more details on the smart summon system in the autopilot mode in Tesla's smart summons, which in principle allows Tesla users to flick a button on the app and call their sparkling motor from its parking slot to wherever they proudly stand comes with restrictions. It only suggests for usage on private driveways. And despite the sophisticated, traffic-aware cruise control technology, which maintains speeds until the car ahead slows down or stops, drivers are still obliged by law to have their hands on the wheel at all times to take over if anything goes wrong. If hands are not always on the steering wheel, the automobile will grumble and eventually stop. The autonomy in cars is now classified on an internationally recognized scale with level one automation automating a single element of driving. At the other end of the spectrum, level five automation provides the ultimate dream of complete vehicular autonomy and has been available for quite some time. Finally, what do we know of the current level of automation in Tesla cars? Tesla is resolutely stuck at level two with just a few components of their driving experience most notably speed control and lane change available modern teslas are theoretically capable of taking an exit ramp and transitioning from one roadway to another however legal and regulatory obligations require that a human be in control of the vehicle at all times and by the way this is quite right for the time being fatal failures may and do occur for example consider the fatality of a 38 year old apple employee walter wong whose Tesla was in autopilot mode when it collided with a concrete barricade. In March 2019, 50-year-old Jeremy Baron Banners, Model 3, smashed into a tractor trailer trying to cross a Florida highway at 68 miles per hour, ripping the roof clean off of his vehicle and tragically taking his life. So despite its evident sophistication and Elon Musk's bold predictions, it isn't nearly ready. However, advocates would argue, maybe correctly, that self-driving Teslas are superior to human drivers. Indeed, they never become drunk, sleepy, or upset. Every terrible event, and even the most hazily self-driving car, sets back development by months, if not years. It's probably safe to believe that Elon Musk's idea, a brilliant combination of smart sensors, lightning-fast AI, and crowdsourcing machine learning, will eventually bring us there. What do you think? Should regulators relax and allow greater autonomy in its present form? Is Tesla's setup really worthy of the term auto? Please let us know down in the comments. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you liked it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.